Welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we talked about some CSS properties with jQuery, but now I want to go ahead and take jQuery out, and uh, I want to do some JavaScript CSS without jQuery. So let's write a program, and we'll see how it works. Take all this stuff out. Yeah. Okay, so just right here in our in between our body tags, let's go ahead and create some p tags with IDs. ID, and we'll set this equal to any color. I'll go with blue. Blue's been working out for us. And we'll say, this should work. Let's close this p tag out. Okay, so underneath this, because of the DOM order of operation, we need to type in our JavaScript down here now. And we'll give, and we're not using this anymore because we're not using jQuery. What we need to do is just go back to document write. You guys remember this? Get element by ID. And I guess we already named it blue. Let's go ahead and source that in with double quotations. Oh, what's going on? And just like in CSS, ID. So um, I kind of Maybe I jumped the gun. I don't know if you guys are really familiar with CSS or not, but it's kind of just having like a CSS style sheet like you'd source in, like a .css file that you would source into your index.html file in between your head tags. So what I want to do is I want to style it. So this is the JavaScript method that lets the program know we're going to be dealing with CSS. And what CSS attribute I want to use is color, which changes the font. And even though this is called blue, and that's how we signaled it, or that's how we uh, referenced it through our ID element, we don't have to do blue here. But let's just do blue to keep things not too confusing. So we'll save that. Let's open this back up at the browser. Open up a Safari this time. Give Safari a song. Hopefully a song doesn't start playing. Okay, this should work. That's what we wanted to do, but we're not using jQuery. So again, we have to use, we have to do this um, one by one. So say we wanted a bunch of colors. Well, let's go ahead and create some new script programs. And instead of this, I'll call it orange. And I know this cool hex pattern. I think I did this in last year. It's four. Let me think about this. Four four. 4800. It's that really cool like Home Depot looking orange. And then for this one we'll just call this pink. And let's change that to pink. Or whatever color you'd like to do there. It's no right or wrong. Just trying to make it as least confusing as humanly possible. Let's copy this. Paste it. Paste it. So let's look at our elements. So I need orange and pink for these two. You can put them in reverse order. It's not a problem but I want them to show up blue, orange, and pink. Just like that, let's save it, let's reload it. There it is, there's our blue, there's our orange, and there's our pink. So we just did CSS without jQuery. We just, a um, little bit more code involved. And you know, this stuff's really gonna make a lot more sense when we build a slideshow in my next tutorial series. So hopefully you guys are following along and just keep in mind that we're really connecting this with this. The ID that goes in here is our get element by ID. Whatever's in our parentheses right here, this is our key. This is our key to the city. This is going to activate that. So hopefully you guys are having a, an enjoyable time learning this stuff. Good luck with this. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk a little bit about Ajax. All right, guys.